That police standoff lasted 12 hours before investigators confirmed the gunman was dead. Good evening. I'm Richard Gray. It all started with that round of rapid gunfire outside DPD headquarters about 1230 this morning. Then the shooter led police on a chase down I-45 to Hutchins in southern Dallas County where he stopped. Police negotiated with him for hours. And then about 1.30 this afternoon after the suspect was confirmed dead, the van erupted into flames as officers detonated what they suspected might be explosives inside. Tonight we are starting to get a clear picture of the damage that was left behind. Zahid Arab just got a tour of the area around police headquarters and he joins us from there. Zahid. Well, Rich, armed with guns, explosives, and an armored car, police say that gunman had one mission early this morning to target any and all officers in sight. Around 12.30 this morning, police say James Bullware first started shooting at the building's lobby in an attack so intense you can count at least 30 bullet holes in the front window that landed on the first and second floors. Chief David Brown says one officer may have saved their life by leaving that front area at the time to grab a Coke. As the gunman was shooting, police say a patrol car with two officers in it drove up. That's when Bullware started shooting at them, shattering the windshield and back windows. As the officers returned fire, the gunman got into this, his armored van and took off. The officers miraculously were not hurt. It's hard to explain. It's, 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 it's amazing, and we hopefully we can... Um uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll learn to see what we did and learn those tactics uh, and, and, and continue to employ those tactics if, uh, in, the, in the future. But, but you know, the, the officers are, are, are trained and, they're, uh, and, and they, they, they adhere to their training and, and uh, that with a measure, measure of luck and, and, uh, and by the grace of God, we, we sur they, they survived. DPD also took us to a side parking lot where a package containing two pipe bombs exploded after the altercation in front of the building. Police say the pipe bomb was placed in a duffel bag between two SUVs. The explosion was so powerful, shrapnel and debris flew down Lamar Street and the detonator was found by some nearby trees. The members of the FBI have been here for hours mapping evidence, taking pictures and measurements of things like bullet casings. As for damage inside the building's headquarters, Dallas police say they plan to take some pictures for us and show them to us tomorrow because right now things are just two they, they investigators are just in the middle of everything and they just don't want to take a chance of compromising their investigation rich thank you zahid